Today we're going to be taking a look at my favorite everyday carry pens or writing utensils. I've got six of my favorite everyday carry or everyday use writing utensils here on the table and I also have a couple bonus ones for you at the end. So we're going to jump right into the video. So of course starting out we know not all pens are created equal. A free pen that you get at a fair or a party or a fundraiser is not going to be necessarily as good as a Bic or a Pilot pen and those aren't going to be as good as a Space pen or a Big Idea Design or any of those kinds of more expensive pens. The thing is though you don't really have to spend a ton of money if you want to get a good everyday carry pen that functions well and looks cool as well. There's pens on this table that range from a few cents all the way up to about $40. And for what they are, they are fantastic options. First off are some of the pens that I've used probably the longest. I used to carry these with me every day, but I had one blow up in my jacket pocket and wreck the jacket, so I quit carrying them with me. But these are the Pilot G2 series. There's an 05 and an 07. I really like the 07, great for signing documents or calligraphy, anything that you want something to look good when you're done. So love these for the home base desk, taking notes, signing things, anything like that. These work great for that. I don't like the 05 as much as the 07, but they still are good pens despite my personal preferences. Definitely though, I would recommend going with the 07 over the 05. These are about $14 on Amazon for a 12 pack, so that's about $1.10 a piece. Cheap, effective, and they write really, really well. Next up, we're gonna take a look at a couple options that you can carry with you, and you don't have to worry about them blowing up in your pocket. One of the best budget options for a carry pen has to be the Zebra F701. This is a great bulletproof pen, solid steel, and it only costs about eight to $10. Ink refills are fairly cheap, and it's a pretty fine point. You can also get the thicker point inserts to change it up if you want. For what it is, great pen, very cool. It's, it's got lots of great other applications as well, but don't be violent with your writing utensils. Do like this pen a lot. Looks way more expensive than what it is. Zebra F701, highly recommend. Next up is one of my most carried pens on the table. This is the Fisher Bullet Space Pen. Of course, the Fisher Space Pens made popular by the space program and NASA that they use these pens. Pressurized ink refills, all kinds of crazy, super cool engineering that has gone into these pens. They make pens that look similar to these Zebra ones, like a normal pen. They also make these bullet ones, which I really like because they're great for everyday carry. This one is the matte black bullet pen with a pocket clip. They also come without the pocket clip. I have a silver one, which I can't find. It's matte black one, and then a titanium nitride bronzed one that I won a contest for naming, so I have one of those. Great pens. The refills cost about $10, and these pens are bulletproof, American-made, and really high quality. Like I probably already said, my favorite thing about this is that it folds up really small, which is great because you can toss it in your pocket and it doesn't take up a ton of space. Now, of course, Sharpie markers are great to have, right? Permanent markers, black things out, mark things, crafty. Sharpies are great, right? However, why buy a regular Sharpie that costs $3? when you can buy a Milwaukee Inkzell Sharpie in a four pack for $5. The Milwaukee Inkzell Sharpies are the only Sharpies that I use. Once I got into them, I couldn't use the regular ones ever again because they just work so well. Of course, they're made for construction workers, so they're designed to last through all kinds of junk that you throw at them. I use these every single day. I've replaced all my other Sharpies with them. Just do yourself a favor and buy the Milwaukee Sharpie. It's better than the regular Sharpie. They come in the four pack for black ones. You can also get a colored four pack for $5 as well and they also come for a little bit more money in the fancy fat chisel tip version right on everything lasts forever so i highly recommend those carry those and use those every single day now for the next one this is something that depending on what line of work you're in you may or may not use but a carpenter's pencil is always nice to have i picked up this one for free at my local lumber yard i have a couple of those that's why this one's not cut yet now depending on how you want to go about procuring your carpenter's pencils you can look for free ones like that or cheap ones that are about 99 cents at your local hardware store or you can go to your local menards or big box hardware store and pick up a giant pack like this talk about a lifetime supply of carpenter's pencils depending on how often you use these you may go through a ton of these or you may not there's 24 in this pack and i paid about four dollars for it so that's cents a piece they're not very expensive and they're really nice to have around so definitely one of my favorite and most used pencil options is a classic carpenter's pencil now i did promise you a couple bonus pens at the end of the video so the first one is a paper mate profile ball 1.4 again nothing super fancy 
but it goes in the pin jar with the pilots and I use them for all different things, but I use them every single day and they work really well. Another pen that I have somewhere that I can't find right now is another version of the Zebra. There is the F701, like I showed you here, that's full solid stainless. And then there's also a more cheaper, more kind of throwaway pen, which is the F301, which has metal parts, but it's also got a bunch of plastic in it too. They're more designed to kind of throw away when you're done, but you can still use the refills in them. But the Zebra F301 is another great option for a sturdy pen. I'll leave links for all the stuff for you guys in the description if you're interested in checking out some of these budget everyday carry pen options. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash that like button 2024 style if you're into that sort of thing and share this video with a friend. If you're new here, please consider clicking subscribe. We try and make a new video every week. As always, stay safe and we'll catch you on the next video.